Look at you. I like it. I love the color. You love the color? Yeah. I want I want to get out. Not that I'm copying you, but you gave me a suggestion when I saw your hair. So I went and got my hair done. Oh, I like I, it on you. This looks good on you. And let me just tell the chat, this is Miss Maria. She's been up here um a couple of times. What? And she had braids the last time, right? The, uh -huh. the, 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 the braids, yes. Oh, Miss Maria yes. looking like 21 yeah. again. No, Hold on. I didn't recognize you for a second. I had to squint. Oh, there she is. I see you. Mm -hmm. I'll be 60 in a few months. That's wow, somebody, you mama. Look good. You look Grand. good. Thank you. And whatever Thank happened you. with the date? Whatever happened with the date? You said you were getting flew. So Miss Maria was getting flewed out. You and your sister was getting flewed out by teeth. a guy, correct? Them teeth, you see it? You see the <laughs> you see the adjustment? <laughs> Baby. Oh, uh, she got ditches. Come get Nana. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But come get Nana the uh, rich rich around over there and get Nana the juice out that there frigid there over there. Lord, I saw the gum. I seen it. Mama. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. This is Mima. Mama. That's Mima. So, so Mama is still get, Mama getting flued out? Flued out. And it said Mama, well, her and her sister got flued out. Her I and mean, her sister? That's what Ashley just said. Wow. Yeah, I want to hear how this date went. Oh, man. Mm. Right, right. That's going to be in the end of September. September. But I have a, a, a issue with him. Every what time we she? talk, he's always talking about, well, I have this friend and she you. did this and she did this. And then I had another friend and she did this. I mean, our conversation is always about an ex-friend. An uh, ex-girlfriend or... Does he ever ask about you? Do you history. guys ever talk about you guys? Or is it always about a friend? It's always about a friend. I mean, we talk about seeing each other and meeting and some things that we're going to do, like mm -hmm. go to the museum in Washington, D.C., the African American Museum, and, you know, go to the aquarium and go out to this nice restaurant he want to take me to and things like that. But... Yeah, he said, and you know, I, for example, it's a um, he lives in Chesapeake Bay, Virginia. So it's a restaurant that he really wants me to go to have great seafood. But mm -hmm. you know, I took this friend one time. It always go back to a girl. Everything goes back to a woman. Everything. How old is he? And it's it's, it's, it's really disgusting to me because I have to hear the story. You know, and I pretend like, oh wow. Wow! Ha 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 ha! Speak I up, mean, lady. how old? How old is the gentleman? I mean, you might have to share war stories. <laughs> right, There's a lot of playing. He's a, he's, a right. he's a veteran. You know, I've been there. And, you know, and we ain't we ain't young no more. Let's be frank. Right. I've been True. there before. True. True. <laughs> I I took an ex there. I mean, maybe he don't have to say the ex part. Right. Right. Okay. But I've been there before. You know. Mm, yeah. I mean, y'all didn't live <laughs> life. I, I would think he's around her age. Uh, so, I would hope. W w there ain't no more playing no games. I've been there before. Okay. Right. And, what and you if think? So, and if so, you know, um, you know, dudes, we might have a tendency to do that. I, I've known dudes to speak too much about their baby mama or whoever. The whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. I mean, lady, you're 60 years old. Just speak up. Speak your mind. Like, tell them, you know, yeah. okay, well, listen, I understand, but I'd, I'd rather not discuss any of those, you know, let's just build what we got. And, you know, whatever. So you, yeah. you know, say something. It ain't, a, I don't think it's that serious. Like she's saying yeah. it got her angry and she just, oh, wow. Well, just say something. If it's getting you upset, why don't you say something? Pull his coat, let him know, communicate. You know, they always say, hey, right, I don't want a communicator. That's just communication. Just, just tell them, I don't want to talk about them. Like, let's just do us, yeah. build our memories and build our cachet up and we can talk about what we've done and all of that kind of stuff like that. You know, mm -hmm. ain't nothing to be upset about. Speak up. You know, that's interesting. 
Sounds like he's not a good match, Miss Maria. It sounds like he's not a good really? match. It sounds like he's just kind of going oh, along that? to get along for a little. You know, like maybe you just want yeah. someone to talk to and hang with for a little bit. That's what that sounds like. Like, all right, I'll just go because I need. I want something to do. Here we go. No. So should I just go because I want something to do? <laughs> what? She said she wants something to do too. Yes, Miss Maria, you can go. Somebody do me. <laughs> you want to just go to have a little fun, <laughs> clean fun. If you want to go have some yes. good clean fun, Ashley. Ashley, you can't tell that elder what she can do and not do. Right. <laughs> that lady gonna have her some fun. Trying to get nasty. That lady going to get nasty. <laughs> clean fun Actually, ain't no stop. clean fun you what happened after that when they get through with that museum right <laughs> and after nasty. they get get through Chocolate with that City. seafood mm -hmm. <laughs> restaurant gonna get nasty. That we don't know ball. what gonna happen chesapeake mm -hmm. this is gonna get nasty Shoot. down in the feet she gonna show she gonna show how she eat them crawfish she gonna pull them choppers <laughs> out swallowed up <laughs> Have you ever been swallowed <laughs> up? <laughs> Look at that lady. I mean, at some no, point you go. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. no I'm saying that lady's sixty years old, Ashley. Right. She ain't got too many summers left. But I'm, so, I'm want to know that I missed something. He's not a match because he spoke. You know, he speaks about his past experience. That's kind of extreme now, Ashley. Yeah. Slow down that's now. Little, that's Slow a little down. extreme. You know. With these modern women, anything that don't align with the woman, just go. What she want it's not a lot. Uh, uh, you gotta go. It's not if a she match. Wanna go have what I'm trying to say is she, she wanna go have fun? Go have your fun, lady. Right. You might have to hear about his third ex wife, but it's all, all right. good. Short story, yeah. and then you right back to business. You know, he about to fly you out. I don't know why your sister coming now. Go out, have your flight. Have your fun. Pull them things out. You know, get the business. Don't listen to Ashley. But it is perfect match. He's not a match. I don't I thought I missed something with that. Go ahead. Let yeah. Only left one. Thank you. Thank you. She need permission. Thank you. I love you. I just want to see. I want you to see my hair and I love it. Are you is this, is this how you're wearing your hair when you go see him? Yes. Oh honey. Outfits ready, okay? Yeah. Are you doing the outfits on Friday? Yes. She okay, to I got one I want to show you Friday. Okay, so come for Fashion Friday. We want to see the look. Okay, head to toe. Come ready with the shoe. Okay, I got come the ready shoe. with everything. Now, I got a bad hip, so the shoe may not be Oh, bad. God oh. damn, man. <laughs> 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 okay, you can do a little flat. You can do a flat. That's fine. She need to do a flat. She gonna have to do a flat. Miss Marie in the she got bad, a bad hip. hip. Mm, mm, she mm, got a mm. bad hip. Miss Marie, you you sure you want to be walking around all the museums though? Mm. Y'all need to go straight to the seafood restaurant. Mm, mm. All that moving around DC. <laughs> mm -mm. Just sit down. But I'm excited, you know. Yeah. You got you got me going to the gym every day, doing my water aerobics every day. Yeah, and um exercising and and mentally clearing my mind of, of anything negative that could possibly come my way. I, I told my therapist about you, girl. Ah! Y'all be acting like these yeah. human yeah. deities. So right. I might need to talk to her. Uh <laughs> she said because she got you doing things that i've been trying to get you to do for a year and a half mm -mm. <laughs> oh gosh Jeez. i'm sorry Um, um, on your um, name, Doctor Ashley Dalton. Oh, don't do that. that that's no, false. I can't put that now. People go to school for years. Yeah, unless you're, so unless you're a rapper. Okay. I do. I went to school for years for it, so I'm I know six years. Six years. So, wow. 
Why, wait, yeah. so why, why don't you have doctor in front of your name then? I do. I do. It's on It's on my Facebook and other things. Oh, okay. okay. I have three master degrees, three. PhD, all the I'm a PhD. This is a brilliant, not smart, brilliant woman. Now you see why it's so hard for me to get a date. Yeah. But the thing if you leave with them degrees, it's gonna be hard. Shout out to the Godfather. <sighs> Try to tell you. Y'all don't wanna listen. You don't wanna listen. You ain't gotta hide it, but it ain't gotta be Can't that come up later? First thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> When y'all start talking about your education, oh, where you go to school? Where did you go to school at 40 something years ago? <laughs> oh, yeah, I went to Columbia. So, like, I went to Harvard, Yale, <laughs> and I have a master's. <laughs> That's when you, you break that out. Like, yeah, I remember, oh, that one subject was hard. Like, oh, we had some of the best parties. Did y'all have parties like that? When y'all get into Man. that part of the conversation, then you can go into that. Y'all be saying it on the first date or or even before the date. I'm a PhD. Man, listen. The, what are the, what are the lies of feminism? Is that your accomplishments? The the more accomplishments that you have, is going to increase your um the the men's your attractiveness to men. It don't. It doesn't. She's 60 years old trying to get flued out. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She on here asking Ashley, which is a significantly younger woman than her. I don't know exactly how old Ashley is, but probably late 30s, early 40s. Right. Mm -hmm. So Ashley old enough to be her daughter. You're asking her for advice <laughs> and how right. to do this and navigate and all that. And you want to look like you were like her late uh, 30s inspiration early 40s you. yeah she want to look like she's 20 years younger mm. so that she could try to attract <laughs> a man this is where we at mm. Mm -mm -mm. trying to get style uh, uh, tips from a younger woman and uh, now it's nothing wrong with being hip and trendy you know like you see you yeah. know uh, back in the Still day you know all older women it looked a certain way you saw a 60 year old woman you knew she was 60. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she just you know she trying to stay with the trends but at least still kind of look your age you know right. like wear the clothes appropriate right. for a 60 year old woman now she uh from what we saw she don't look too crazy no you know the 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 blonde hair might be a little too much yeah you know well, okay I'll but okay pass. I let her roll on that. But what I'm just trying to say is she's getting style tips from a woman that is about 20 years younger than her so that she could stay, try to stay attractive and get her yeah. a man when you should have probably had you a man, been married. Um, now, Ashley didn't go too far into her uh, background. Mm -hmm. oh, is she divorced, uh, widowed? Mm -hmm. What's going yeah. on there? How many mm -hmm. kids she got? So... Right. Thing is, Miss Maria, I have been telling you this for so long. You're not to lead with that. You're not leading with that. Okay. You're Ashley. leaving your PhD on the wall at your house. You're not bringing it to the date with your lychee martini. No. <laughs> yeah, she had that part right. Right. That's that's some good advice. <laughs> No, so leave it on the ball. ball. It's okay. Is it nailed down? I hope it's nailed down because you're not bringing it with you. Mm -mm. It's nailed down. See, let me show you. Can you see? Oh, oh look, she better show it. Oh, see. is wow. that her? Oh, wow. Oh, uh, look at her. Yeah, the 60s. Let's see the picture. <laughs> oh, and you have short hair in that picture. Okay, sure. Oh, zoom in, zoom in. Okay, this, she was this school. picture is 33 oh, years man. old. Oh, wow. oh she looked like she was man. 60 back then. <laughs> wow, you look older when you were younger. That's crazy. That's that nasty she work. Be looking right now. <laughs> oh, With that the burgers and everything. That's, that's, that's how she should be looking. That looked like a 60 year old woman. That looked like somebody mama. Oh, man. Oh, now she, man. 
I wonder if she got, uh, I really want to know, like, what her, if she got kids and what they age is. She probably, she's probably the one that try to look like, if she got a daughter, try to look like her daughter's sisters. Oh, can y'all <laughs> tell us apart? <laughs> Man, we can. Yes. <laughs> we can tell you the mama. <laughs> yes. It don't be as close as y'all think it'd be. Definitely. This is kind of sad, older, though. Younger. Just actual age, you know. It's it, it's like she's tr really trying hard to Man, feel you young, be young. Like you're sixty, embrace Man. it. Yeah, we gotta get that up. Like I said, it's nothing wrong if you're young uh, naturally or you're relevant, right? You feel kind of current, or you know that's that's different than you chasing it. She chasing it, chasing it. Yeah, because she looked like she was sixty uh, twenty years ago, right? And now she try to catch up with the trends. <laughs> right. <laughs> Man. Oh my God. And that looked like her natural hair in that picture. This right. the weave she got on now. No. Oh, oh a yeah. A wig, weave, whatever. Wig. <sighs> wig. Trying to trying to get style tips from Ashley. Wigging out. <laughs> Just embrace who you are. It's okay. Smart, accomplished, okay? Accomplished. Look, look, look. With the president of the wow. college. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Look at her. Wow. Was, was you a magna cum laude? What's that? That's what they call it, right? Magna cum? It looks like magna cum. You had a magna cum. <laughs> <laughs> you had a boot. Yeah, that's why it's, it's kind of hard for me because it's not that I want someone who's educated. I want yes, someone do. who's who who understands education who respects education so you know you want someone who's you know you can have a conversation what from politics to pop culture yeah you know they got a couple of vocabulary vocabulary words under their belt okay they know more than the 50 states okay they understand how the the government works I'm yeah sure. But then they could talk about, you know, little things like, you know, pop culture. I understand. I understand. Yeah, like, and I get to go. But you don't have to have all the degrees to be able to, to do that. that. Yeah, like, on a base level, fundamental level, you could easily understand those things. Have an in-depth conversation about that, and PhD would be nowhere discussed or involved in that. Yeah. Y'all be, be, yeah, be the signs. And you be focused on some so so stuff that don't even don't even matter in a sense. Like you could probably you could probably find a man that will have an intelligent conversation with you, and he may not even went to college. Exactly. And just because you possible. went to college, you're educated, that doesn't always automatically equate to your intelligence. You have to apply what you've learned. I'm sure Kendra graduated somewhere from some damn university and we see how that turned out. So please, like the application is way more important than the certification. If, if you ask me, you could have the certification and never use the knowledge or turn the knowledge into wisdom and, and, you know, put that in your regular everyday life. And then, you know, where you live and oh, excuse me, where you work and how you get your money that might not never come into play so that's not the ultimate barometer but i get it i dig that's that modern womenism to like lawyers balls um the governor's balls and things like that mm -hmm. i want someone that if i step away from them to get a drink and they're standing in a group i want someone who would be able to understand and talk and communicate and collaborate with people yes. not necessarily understand everything in politics or government but know just know how to hold the conversation absolutely absolutely an educated man but if you're going maria if you're going to lawyers balls governor's balls all the balls and conferences why haven't you come across the guy why haven't you met your, your person yet because you're in the I circle. Think, it sounds like you're in the circle already. Yes. Yeah, I real think question. I don't know how to communicate without it being something professional or oh, educational. 
Now, I can be in my house all day and be Beyonce all day long. It's like there are two of me, Jesus. the professional side, and then there's the side that. Male. Just because she's wearing old her old Tita. wig, just because you wearing one of her old wigs, that don't make you no Beyonce, ma'am. Let's let's come on, y'all. But she just sat up here and uh, and talked about she wanted an educated man, but she talked, but she can't have a conversation besides, um, if it uh, besides education and politics and all of that. Mm, mm, mm. Lord have mercy. So, so this is what's going to happen. The conversation going to turn to something that she don't know what's going on. And she going to get up and get get her some champagne <coughs> and, and leave him at that table. Does, uh, uh, you, better, uh, you better talk to them people because I don't know. They started talking about the environment. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> um, Y'all said warming global. <laughs> <laughs> Done. What's that? You see, she done. goes. <laughs> totally done. That's why she want that man to be able. To, uh, that's she gave that scenario. I want him to be able to carry on the conversation because if I need her out, I'm taking. It. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're doing. I ain't gonna let you do this, Skip Bayless. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that really want to get out there. Maria looks like she has a wild side. I say that with respect. You do. You do. I cook in the kitchen, the lady in the street. You can't show uh, yourself to every guy you meet. Uh, oh, wait. Say that again. Say that again for the young one. Say it again. Be a cook in the kitchen, the lady in the street. You can't show to every guy you meet. It's okay to be a little freak, but be a woman in the sheets, no pain. No game. Okay. She took it back to 72. <laughs> yes, but this is what I want to say. I want to say, Miss Maria, you can show up with a little bit of that energy, not full throttle now. But yeah. you can insert a little bit of your personality when you're out. You don't have to be like so stick in the mud. It. So, oh, as a matter of fact, I did go to the hall. And I went to die. You don't have to do that. You know, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything doesn't have to be. Huh? She don't get it. She don't. As a matter of fact, I do th do that, Ashley. <laughs> I do show thy personality. Sometimes I'm Beyonce. And sometimes <laughs> I, <laughs> I am Dr. Mm, What's her mm, name, mm, Maria? I am mm, Dr. Marie. Maria. I mm. can command the audience, mm, 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 <laughs> the crowds. She don't even know who she in. is. Just can't give like it up. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That's what Word. it sounds like. Word. And why at 60 years old, you try to showcase that <clears throat> wild side? For real. You should be putting that up. <laughs> right. Wild side at 60? Lord have mercy. You need to be inside. Well, yeah. Why are you still in the streets? <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh. we don't know. We don't know the history. It's been a long history, but we know where you at right now. So I don't I just, know, Miss Marie. I just, I'm sorry. I just had, I had a grandma that was looked like a grandma. So, and she acted like a grandma. So she would tell now she would tell her little stories and I came across some love letters from a, a paramour back in the mm -mm. probably about the forties, fifties. Oh, she geez. said, uh, uh you can't read that. Uh, okay, I don't want to read your old Jesus. <laughs> love letters. I don't know what's up in there. Love letters from the fifties. That's but but that's she, you know, she was probably out there in her prime. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know she was out there, you know. But we ain't. She <laughs> but, ain't on the internet. We, but we we, we found we figured that out later. <laughs> we, Man, yeah. Granny telling us a little story right. here and there is different right. than her telling the whole world. Like, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Granny would tell you later on what she was up to. Granny, you was the. 
Mm. But now these women put all this on the internet and like it's their diary. Like your kids can't, your kids know, your grandkids know. Granny, this why these kids don't want to be fr uh, friends with y'all on their social media. Because y'all be on here embarrassing them. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Y'all be doing the sure. most, and these kids gonna have to answer to that. Y'all got kids, right. in school, grandkids. Y'all saw your grandmother on Woody Woody. Your woody. grandmother? Imagine, Bay. And no. somebody said, "I saw, I saw your grandma no, I twerking." I can't. I, I can't. That would have been wild, like Granny. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I don't know. Like it. It's just that you know these women of yesteryear might have been out there like that, but I'm saying they carried their, they presented themselves a different way. You could tell that they was an older person. They had values, and yeah. they care. They just carried themselves a certain way. Like you, they just commanded respect. I don't know what Granny was doing specifically in those times, but I respected her. Well, there you go. She didn't so, show her hand like that. You know, right. she wasn't I out knew, in your circle. She, you know what right. they did? They they kept that barrier where yes. that's granny, that's grown yes. folks. Like I'm saying, thing yes. with kids. These are grown folks, yes. and that's what kids do. So there was always a barrier of separation. So we never, you would never yes. look at your grandmother, even if she was doing that, whatever, whatever. You never looked at her the same way. Yes. See, the they, thing I noticed with these women mm -hmm. is they don't want to age out. Like right. you just aged out. You passed flued out. You passed Beyonce right. hair and all that. Like it's over for that. Like they still want to keep that going now in today's time. It's the equivalent right. of a 70 year old man hanging out and dressing like NBA young boy. He just no. aged out. Like now dressing to a certain extent is subjective because as we, you dress like the era you grew up for the most part. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. like as we go further in time, like the dressing to be more modern. Okay, when the when let for instance, when you turn 60, mm -hmm. the the way we dress as we are dressed now, that's more of your speed. Like you, you yeah. dress how you grew up dressing. That's yeah, yeah. what really happens. So you see people dress young because they were they grew up in a time when the dress was younger. The dressing was more modern or whatever. People don't wear suits. Older people don't run around in suits all day like they used to at one point. Yeah. So I can kind of give you that. But the hair and trying to be red flued out and all that, like I think she's chasing her youth. Like, I'm not saying just kill over and die. No, but you just no. age out of certain activities and you just you become more age appropriate at whatever you do. Yes. They don't want to do that. My you know, and my grandma wore wigs, but she had them old lady wigs. I don't understand when wigs look like what this lady got on and Ashley mm -hmm. got on, that's mm -hmm. the wigs now. But wigs used to be like an old lady would be the only one having it. Yeah. Like no young women wouldn't have no wigs on. That's true. You would wear your hair. And so my grandma had, the, you know, the old lady wigs. She dressed like a, she looked like somebody grandma. Shout out to the old lady wigs. <laughs> Everybody, auntie, my aunt is still wearing them, them old lady wigs. <laughs> but, you know, it's just a certain presence is what I'm trying to say. Like, and, you know, they, they commended that respect um, with them. Like you, like you just said, there was a barrier. I knew that this is my elder, you know, yeah, this is my grandmother. And, you know, there's a certain mm -hmm. level yeah a boundary there so, yeah we anyway. have separation you know it, mm -hmm. with the older folk with the kids we don't kids same thing kids being grown folk business and all that we couldn't do that back in the day now when i was coming up you would Not be dismissed you quiet if you sat there quietly <laughs> they let you rock but once you try yeah. to interject and be making little comments and you get your ass out of here mm -hmm. yes yeah, it was a kid's place children stood in the kid's place everybody was in their place and they order Children stayed mm -hmm. in their place. Older folk was in the place where they was at, and then whoever was in the middle did what you do in the middle. Like it was a it was a protocol, and you aged out of certain activities. You didn't see old ladies with Beyonce wigs wanting no, to get flued out no, twerking and all that. No. We, we didn't see that. So no, no, we did not. And I think that's why we had that level of respect for Absolutely. our elders because we didn't see them being wild like this. 
Absolutely. We just saw them as women, like, the, the, you know. Like whatever they did just, when they sent us upstairs or in the room or whatever. I they don't know. Up. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. That's <laughs> on them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Country club. It doesn't have to be that. You can insert a little of your personality. Yeah, yeah. I know. And that's I that's know. what people like about me because I do. I'm I'm this way everywhere I go. I'm just a jolly happy person. I don't feel like I'm 60. You know? That's good. And you don't look okay. it either. That's I don't good. feel like it and I love it. I absolutely love it, you know, so but I'm not going to hold you because I know other people are trying to get to you, too. Yes. We love you, Miss Maria. We love you. I love you, too. Everyone loved it. Look, the, the, look at the chat. They're like, I even saw some men in the chat. Okay, uh -oh. I think I seen some men who was trying to holler at you, Miss Maria. Okay? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Holler back. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Holler back. Okay. Holler she's back, girl. Okay, she's in North Carolina, and she's a wild PhD. Okay. <laughs> wild PhD. Wild. Uh, <laughs> wild PhD. Miss hmm. Marie. I mean, she do. She look good. But she look really sure. good though. Like, of I try not to say good. I don't like the term. Uh, you look for good 60. for your age. Right. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I don't like. Oh, you look good for your age and stuff like that. Cause. Just, I feel like that's offensive. If you look good, but you, you look good, huh? But she, she look good. I just, she just act age appropriate, you know? And she feel young. That's good, you know? Mm-hmm. It's always a good thing. That's good. So, I don't know. With Miss Marie, yeah. Then you don't have to, all that PhD, calm yeah, that yeah. down. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we know how that goes. You lead with that it just doesn't hit the same i know yo will men do this we we know a man might come at you like that and say yeah well i'm a doctor but it does not hit the same when it comes from a woman and this is how you lead the conversation and i'm a phd first and all that that's it's not gonna work for you and then i don't know she didn't list out if she wanted a man with some good earning potential or yeah. you know up there with some nice change of money again Despite popular belief, we, we hear in these pockets of the internet, uh, in the in the parlances of the internet where they want you to make, oh, you got to make a certain amount. That might be true, but all the leading with your accomplishments and all that, that's it's kind of masculine to a certain extent, and it doesn't just doesn't come off the same. So she might want to drop that, you know. And I don't, we didn't we didn't get an age for who she wants to date, you know, like a range per se. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know, you know, it's, it's a lot up in the air, but we'll see. You know, she seems like she got a lot of life left in her, but at the same time, I think she's chasing her youth, which yeah. could be a little dangerous. You know, yeah. those kind of Stop. women like that. that, and that unpredictable. That's, that's a good way to put it. Stop chasing your youth. Mm -hmm. Whatever age you are, whatever decade of your life, the era you in, embrace it. Yeah. You know? That's yeah. that's a part of getting older and living like, you know, right. <laughs> and there's maybe there's certain things you can't do, but now there's certain things you can do. Right. Like people don't understand that or the wisdom that you got from it. Oh, I missed when I was 30, but you got way more wisdom now at 60 years old. I would hope, yeah. you know, you and lived 60 years on this earth. You should have some wisdom to be able to pass down to the younger generations and stuff. So don't regret your age and stuff. Like, you know, when I, <laughs> this is yeah. a lesson to myself because when I turned 30, I was like, dang, I'm out of my twenties. Hmm. But you know, your twenties was just so pivotal in becoming an adult, like to really yeah. embrace adulthood. And now, Somebody had said, <laughs> said like, now you in your thirties, now you are, you grown, grown. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now, now, okay, I'm grown, grown. And then I got the wisdom from my twenties to be able to tell even younger women, you know, in yeah. their twenties. Okay. You don't do that. 
Yeah. Girl, no way she'll talk. You know, like you moved up in the line. You know, there's yes. a seat. You know, there's yes. the big homie, the little homie, and then you somewhere in between. So you, you respect mm-hmm. where you at. I'm yes. still young enough to take advice from the older folk. Yes. But I'm old enough to give insight mm-hmm. to the younger folks. So, you know, like again, this progression, you move up the line, you age out, you know, you get into certain status. And you you get comfortable there. You sit there. Like I said, you don't have to kill over and die because you a certain age. Oh, my life is no, over. But no, appropriately, you apply your wisdom. You you live for off your experience. Shout out to the locks, and you you keep going. You don't chase youth, you know. And no. uh, granted, today is a different day because I think you know where we might have been fifty, and that was it. Or 60 and that was it there is still a lot of life and you know Mm -hmm. we're living we got uh more technology to where our everyday life is less strenuous so at 60 you might be better preserved in today's time than somebody who was 60 had to tend a farm and do all this manual labor so yeah i could i could give you a little bit of that too but the youth like when you when you're trying to recapture something that's gone that's different like i said being relevant naturally hip cool whatever you want to say naturally is one thing but to chase it to try to put on a facade or make yourself look more youthful that's where we go into you know we get into some dangerous territory because you're only going to get older you're only going to age more you can't fight that backwards battle but so long you can't reverse the hands of time that's all point blank period but Mm -hmm. you know that's just where we at with it so we just you know the modern a lot of these modern women seem to not want to age out like i see that a lot yeah definitely and you know what and it's different for men because a 60 year old man would come on here and fully embrace his age like right men embrace the salt and pepper for sure. You know, in their hair and and things like that. Okay, well, I'm a I'm a older, distinguished mm-hmm. gentleman. Like exactly, Seasoned. like that. Men embrace it. Mm-hmm. Women is just, and that's the thing. Like that should tell you that beauty and youth and all of that is fleeting. So that mm-hmm. you got to make better choices when you have it. So Indeed. when you're in your twenties and you you prime of your life. You better make be- the best choices that you can, because these are the this is the time and this is the only time in your life where you're gonna have the the best options available yeah. for you. Yeah. Don't get to sixty and then regretting it. Now you're trying to act all cool up in the club mm. with your Mm-mm. daughters and stuff. No, Mm-mm. you should. You this is the time where you can relax and and have some cookies ready for the grandbabies. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Well, anything else for the final thoughts before we close this one out? No, that's it. All right. Well, you guys heard what we think. More importantly, we want to know what you guys think. So please get down in the comments, leave it there. Let us know if we were on base, off base. You know, we are 360 degree thinkers on this platform. We support free thought. So uh, leave a like on your way out, sub up if you so choose to. We'll be back with some more of this Ashley Dalton and her madness. And uh, have a good night. We'll catch up with you on the next one.